<clears throat> hello, hello. This is April 5th, 2023 at 7 p.m. Central Time coming to you from Houston, Texas and my craft room. I am Terry Lynn, Crafting with Terry Lynn. So welcome, welcome. If you are catching this on the replay, put hashtag replay. I will greet you when I go over comments. And thank you for watching. And I hope you are inspired. Okay. Getting the comments up here. There we go. Hello, Miss Karen Dye. Welcome, welcome. Thank you for coming to my craft table. Um... <clears throat> I am going to, this was a craft I was going to do today earlier with Be So Creative, but she couldn't, she couldn't get me on. Waiting for a live signal. What the heck? Don't tell me we're going to have problems. Okay, I think I'm back. Um, hello, Carolyn um, and Annette. I thought you were going to bed, Annette. <laughs> Um, thank you for hopping on and joining me in my craft room. Um, but this craft I was going to do with her, but we tried three times or more and it would not let her join me. She was clicking the ad, but for some reason Facebook was not adding me to her, um, to her page. So hello, Miss Karen. Um, hello, Betty. Yeah, it froze for a minute. Um, uh, so, okay, y'all do all the things so we can do happy mail. And when I get off of here, I think I'm going to do, um, uh, I've got three spin the wheels ready to do. So I may hop back on and do those, um, cause I got those ready. I was going to do it outside and it started raining. So, and then my husband and I went to eat, um, and so I didn't get it done yet, but, um, the next day or two, I should get caught up, hopefully, so, but, um, <clears throat> so anyway, I just decided to wait and just do this craft tonight. I didn't want to go live and take anybody that was expecting both of us. I didn't want to take anybody from her while she was live, out of respect, um, and then tonight, she, she's a moderator for Deb's New Again, which I love her. And so I decided to come on at 7 instead of 8, so that if she wants to hop on and watch what I was going to do with her, um, she might be able to get on. So anyway, here we are. There's my moderator, Ms. Debbie Dahl Burton. Good evening. Thank you for being here. She will be commenting to some of you guys, so she is acting as me uh, in, in uh, my place. Um, so I got three of these baskets. I got two on the floor here. I'm going to dress these up to go in my kitchen. I'm not sure where I'm putting them, but I want them in there badly. So I'm going to figure out a way, even if I have to take something else off the wall, but I want these in my kitchen. And, um, they were $5 each at Target. Um, do you call it the bullseye section? Um, so they were $5 each. So I got three of them. And when I saw them, I had this in mind um, because Miss Debbie, Dal Burton, gave me these three napkins that's got the basil, sage, and the fine, okay? Now, I prepped some of my stuff because I thought I was doing um, earlier today, but I have some muslin fabric here. And I cut me a square. This one's not completely square. I can see that it's off a little bit down here, but it doesn't have to be perfect. Um, and I frayed it. And I took me some coffee that was left in my coffee pot. And I threw in some cinnamon, stirred that up. And I just used a brush and brushed it on there. Okay. And I'm going to Mod Podge this napkin onto this piece of Muslim because I don't want to paint this white and go too far out or whatever for that napkin to show up on here. Okay, so that is why I'm using the Muslim. Now, if you have 
if you have plenty of canvas from Dollar Tree canvas uh, frames, because when I use the frames, I save it. You could definitely use this if you wanted to, and you could possibly fray it a little bit as well. Not as easy as doing the muslin. This muslin, I think I got it at um, Hobby Lobby. It was $2.97 a yard. I've had it a while. I don't, I don't remember what I used it for before, but, and it, it um, what do you call it? It does a good fringe, um, whatever you want to call that. So, and I've got me four half beads over here to the side that I put um, Antique Waverly wax on um, because I want something in the center. I, I've got buttons that could go in the, not in the center, but in the corners. I've got buttons. Um, I've got, I wish I had more of these. My daughter had these in the sewing kit. They're just a cute whatever. They're not really a button. I think she did them on the, the cords hanging off of the Renaissance dress with the tassels on there. Tassels, tassels, whatever it is. Um, these would look cute. A little bit bold, but you know, you can do, um, if you have the little um, stars, you could put the little rusty stars, metal stars, um, in the corners, you can do however you want. Just throwing those ideas out. Um, so before I start with that one, let me show y'all. I've already cut, I've laid this one on this piece of muslin to get it. Hello, Tony. Thank you for um, spreading the inspiration, as Miss Kimry says, and I like that saying. Y'all spread the inspiration out there in public so you can get on Spin the Wheel of Names. You can do it up to five times in public to get on the wheel five times for a bundle of napkins that I will send for fan mail, appreciation mail, okay? So I'm taking my seam ripper and I'm taking the end of it, the pointed end, and I am actually not even gonna do that yet. I wanna try something else. I wanted to put my coffee on here first. Let me just get me a napkin. Let me get some napkins under here. I thought maybe it might be... Uh, okay, let's just go ahead. It's going to be easier if this is dry. I take the point of my seam ripper and pull the threads out. And what I really need, which I need to find, and I think it's in my my dog grooming stuff. Um, there's a eyebrow brush and an eyelash. I have a metal one that's got the eyelash comb and then the brush bristles on the other side of it. I think that would work great on here if you have a metal comb that you can um, do it, fray it, pull the threads. Um, but I gotta look. My baby girl, she uh, she passed away a year ago, January, and so it may still be in my grooming box, but I used to use it to clean her eyes. She was a little bitty thing. She was six pounds, and she'd always get the little boogers in her eyes, and I'd use it to clean her eyes and comb them out. Okay, um, you see all those threads I'm throwing down on the floor? I need to take my chair out of here, and I've got six rollers, no, four rollers under my chair that are full of threads, so it makes it hard for my chair to roll, <laughs> um, but I like throwing everything on the floor, and then I have a broom and a dustpan I keep in here, um, so... Okay, so you see how nice that does? Thank you, Regina, for spreading it out there. Hello, Miss Helen. Um, can y'all hear my waterfall going? You know, it's the tube. It's on the other phone over there. 
I like to have background noises. So I decided since it's getting dark, not many birds out there chirping, so I decided to do water. And I'm just hoping it's not too loud because I have the sound off over here, so I don't know what y'all are hearing. So is it too loud? Is it too overpowering? Or is it is it nice? And we may not get all three of these done. If not, um, I'll judge this time. And I'm on crap around the clock tomorrow. So I may do uh, one of them on crap around the clock tomorrow to finish the set. But I wanted to do this part so you can see how I did it. So, I'm sure y'all have seen this technique before. I'm not showing you anything new here. Um, and I'm sorry if y'all hear the TV in the man cave, which is on the other side of this wall. Dad made his key lime pie or whatever pie tonight, and it's in the freezer. And I told him when he was going to make it, do not offer me a piece, because I'm going to tell you no. So after he made it, and he's bringing it to put in the uh, uh, freezer, he's waving it over in front of me. Y'all see what I got to put up with? Why is it men can pretty much stay um, slim? I think my husband is fine. He's He teeters between 175, 180, but why is it they can eat? And I mean, he eats a lot of junk food in the evenings, but why is it they, they don't have a problem? But I don't know. All right, let's do over here. It's, it's not too bad. I mean, this is pretty quick. I think if I had, also in my kitchen, I have a metal steel, looks like a toothbrush. I haven't tried that yet. It may work good. But it also may damage the fabric. I don't know. I use it for my tile floors to clean the grout and stuff. No, I had to put my ear close to the phone. Oh, I'm sorry, Annette. Your volume may be down. Check your volume. My dad pushes his volume all the time and doesn't realize that he's turned it way down. He's like, I can't hear him. So I hope y'all had a good day. Today's what, Wednesday? So I hope everybody had a good day. Okay, one more side and we'll start doing the coffee. Like I said, this is coffee left over in my coffee pot. And I just shook some, probably a tablespoon of cinnamon in there. And I stuck this rose in there, but the cinnamon sits on the top of the coffee, so it got cinnamon specks all over my rose. But, um, and that's, well, no. This is a different flower. This isn't the rose, but these are from the his and her section. And I like to dip them in the coffee 
and give them kind of that antique look and it makes them look kind of like a solar flower so and these were $2.99 you get nine flowers in there so I think that's a pretty good deal and I and I got those at 40 or 50 percent off whatever it is I never can remember what's what but I did not pay full price let's put it that way Okay, I'm probably being a little bit boring right now and probably going to lose people that are hopping on, so I probably need to get with it here. Get with it. Don't want to lose anybody, but unique things take a little bit of time, and if y'all missed my live last night on, I think it was last night, finishing up my enamelware tray. Be sure you go and watch that because that, I've gotten a lot of wonderful response with that. And, and, um, but it is pretty amazing. I love it. Now I want to do the rest of the enamelware in my kitchen to match it. Okay, all right, let me put, okay, that's about right, let's see, I think it goes this way. I could probably still use a little bit more, but we're going to go ahead and do it. I'm going to show y'all what I do. Now, where's the brush I used? Right here. So I've got my coffee left over out of my coffee pot and about a tablespoon of, or half a tablespoon of cinnamon. This is actually a makeup brush, but I don't use it, so I decided to put it in here. And just dabbing around the edges. Can y'all see? I just don't like to waste coffee when there's any left over, and the only reason I have any left over is because my husband's coffee cup was left somewhere, and so he got a smaller cup this morning, and um, so I had a little, little left over, and I thought, well, I got these flowers. I can dip, and then when I was figuring out how to do this, I said, oh, let me go get that coffee. I'm going to use it for this because I did not, my first thought was to use the canvas, which I didn't have enough of that to do all three of them. And then I remembered I had this um, muslin and it smells really good. It smells like the cinnamon. Sometimes they work great. A very good day. Awesome. My husband got my awning up kind of temporarily. He's got to get some other stuff, but, but it's up for shade anyway. And I will probably do devotion from there in the morning as long as it's not raining. <laughs> I will do... 
Bible devotion there. And also, I did get the prayer list done. I mean, the prayer outline done for you guys. So, I sent it to a couple of people to test it. To see if they were able to open it and print it. And so far, I've got, I can open it, but... Somebody else is having an issue trying to get the printer connected. And so, we're getting there. We're getting there with it. All right. Okay, there's that. Okay, I'm just going to set this aside. And I use the heat dryer on it earlier on that one, but I'm going to set it aside and we're just going to concentrate on getting this done because I am not going to be on here more than an hour uh, because I know people have to work tomorrow and I'll be back on tomorrow and I can continue tomorrow. Um, and I don't remember my schedule for tomorrow, but okay, we're going to Mod Podge. And we're going to Mod Podge this on. And I think I'm going to use this cookie sheet just in case it goes through. Um, let's see. Let me put me some napkins under here to try to keep from having so much noise from it hitting the glass. Let's see if that helps. Much better. Okay. So I've already taken my plies off this napkin. I do not know where they came from because um, Miss Debbie gave them to me. There's um, thyme, sage, and basil. And I've got three baskets. So I've got my other two down here. And we're going to do three baskets hanging. So, I mean, these would look cute in a bathroom. Of course, not with these napkins on. But these would look cute in a bathroom with your hand towels, with a, you know, with your washcloths, hang towels, whatever in them. You could put your makeup in them. You could put, these would be great in an RV, uh, RV, motorhome, travel trailer, because you know you're limited on space. But these would be great for in the bathroom of your travel trailer where you put your toothpaste and all the things in a basket. Um, in the kitchen area of your um, travel trailer to put spices and what have you in it, hand towels. And um, I lived in a, in a travel trailer for a year um, doing the Dave Ramsey baby steps and all that. So I would have loved to have these then. Okay, where's my brush that I have right here? And let me get me a tray. So, all kinds of things. Um, in a in a baby's room, you could keep wipes and things, and you know, up on the wall or whatever. I mean, it's and they're five dollars a piece, so it's unlimited what you could do. You could even put them on the inside of cabinet doors to put stuff in. I'm peeling the dried Mod Podge from the top real quick. Okay. Thank you, Annette. How are the grandkids? You know, I've not seen them uh, for over a month or so. So, I'm not really sure what's going on. So, but the rest of them, other than the babies, are doing great. I don't know what's going on with the others, so. Okay. Um, I have not done this before, like this. So, it's new for me. I probably, well, I don't know. Has anybody done this? Am I doing it right, Miss Debbie? I don't know. I think I'm gonna put some down. Okay. 
I can feel it's wet, but um, we can all learn together, yes. And I may have to use the iron on it. And it's heated, so I may uh, dry it and then run the iron over it. I may have laid it in the wrong direction. I think I should have went the other direction. Oh, well. Hello, Miss Cheryl. Thank you for hopping on. Miss Cheryl, since you just hopped on, have you um, decoupaged on fabric with the napkin? Did you use Mod Podge? I don't know if I'm doing it right. I've not, I mean, I've done the basket before, but not a piece of fabric. I mean, it's like soaking into the, to the fabric. I mean, into the napkin and the fabric, actually. This is where I need my roller, wherever it's at. My pizza roller. I have and also on burlap. Yes, I used to mod potch. And my, so I'm doing it right. Just put it on wet. Did you iron over it after it dries? Yes, this is muslin that I am putting it on. I'm just using my um, I don't know why we go blank when we get online our chippy brush okay I should have paid a little more attention to make sure that I mean it's nice and wet it's soaked through the bottom of the muslin and but it's not stuck down really good right there. So I don't know if ironing it's going to help or what. But I need some more. Hello, Miss Betty. Thank you for passing the root beer. Spreading out the inspiration. Whew, I 
that's hot. Hot. My edges are lacking just a little bit here. too. Now I'm worried if I use if I use the parchment paper over this and iron it, am I gonna be okay? But I don't think it's dry good. But I love how it looks. I think it's going to be okay. I think it's going to be all right. Even though the Mod Podge is now on my fringe, and you just have to work with that, okay? But you can also see my coffee that went around my fabric. You can see it through the napkin. But I think it looks okay. Can y'all see it? Give me some hearts. Um, all right. Now, let's see. All right, I guess I should um, go ahead and glue. Do y'all think these look okay on here? Um, these are the half beads. Thank you for the floating hearts. Um, do you think that looks okay? Let's see if we can line it up. Okay. They're kind of they kind of match with the basket color, so so it's either that or where'd those buttons go? But I would have to buy more of these. If I was to do the buttons, you see how the buttons look? I mean, they're the they're a good color, but so do y'all like the half beads? The beads, Miss Karen says. Okay, Karen, you win. You're the first one to say it. All right. Okay, so let's go ahead and glue those on. And I'm going to turn it towards me so I can see what I'm doing. Hello, Happily. Thank you for hopping on. Thank you, Cheryl. You like the beads, too. Oops. I almost squirted out a little too much. Somebody said to put Vaseline on the end of the tip of the hot tool, the glue tool, and it will help prevent glue strings. So the other day, I just stuck the whole tip of mine in my in my jar of Vaseline, and look, it does seem to help. I don't see it stringing. Of course, I don't know how often I have to dip it in the Vaseline, maybe right before I go on uh, each time. 
Okay, there's our beads. All right. Now, I want to make sure that I get this kind of in the center. So my friend just going to hang. This napkin was almost too big. In fact, I almost decided to take the, cut the white off around it. And I'm kind of thinking maybe I should have, but that's okay. So now I'm trying to make sure I get it even with my hanger. So I'm sorry you're not seeing what I'm doing, but I'm just kind of judging where I'm going to put this. What I really wanted was tacks, but I was afraid something would stick through the back and somebody get hurt. But I thought of some cute tacks, but so we're just going to tack this. And that way, if you decide you want to change it later, it's just hot glue. Okay. Yes, I think it's going to be awesome, Nancy. I was really excited, and I mean, I was so upset that Facebook wouldn't um, let her add me today because I thought it would have been awesome to do this together, and she was also crafting with the napkin, um, and so, but one of my followers was able to ask to join my live earlier today on my devotion and I was able to add her so you know and I don't know if it's something in my settings um, I would like to try to um, do it on somebody else's page to see if it lets me go on because I don't know if I have to have something turned on in my settings to be able to go on I, I don't know certain things have got to be turned on and things like that you know so I don't know okay so there's that now what I want to do is I was thinking of doing a bow up here so if it's hanging on a nail or whatever I will have a bow here in the middle I think it'll be cute. Let's see. Um, I'm just going to get my bow dabra and just kind of play with it. Let's see. Um, oh, here they are. Annette, add Debbie. Oh. Um... Well, Debbie would have to be live and me asking to go live with her. Um, so I know I can accept people coming on. I just need to be able to go on somebody else's and get accepted. So. But anyway, I don't know. Can I do all this like this? I don't see why not. I'm just going to do it all like that. I just want to make one loop. Nothing fancy. Just making a bow with all the different strips. I have um, sorry silk, the rag rug strips. Pretty much is what I got in here. I should have put some more green in there, but that's okay. And then if you see one loop is too big, you can pull the tail. And, okay, which side do I want? The 
the rag ribbon is really stringy so and I get the rag but uh, the rag rug from five below and you get a lot of fabric out of that to make rag bows messy bows Oh my goodness, I love it. I think I should have put a couple more strips of stuff, but that's okay. Okay, what am I gonna put in the middle of this bow? I think I'm gonna put a flower. Okay, so these flowers, like this, they look like solar flowers, and they may be, I don't really know, but I've had these flowers for a long time in something in my bedroom. And they look, don't look at the dust, y'all. But um, I cut these off. So I told y'all I'm using stuff I already have. I'm trying to use, now I did buy these yesterday. I went into Target to look for some sundresses or, or some capri pants for the Texas trip, and I didn't buy any clothes, but, but I bought these three baskets. <laughs> I didn't see anything that I liked. And I should have used my jute that I tied this with. I could have tied that around here too. Let's see. I found one piece. Let me see if, where the other one is. Here it is. I'm going to go ahead and tie it as well as the glue. There it is. Um, I'm going to Target to get, they had a lot in mine. At, I think they were stocking. So um, I had a little bit of time to waste because I was going to get my eyes checked and I hadn't eaten nothing. So I ran through, well, I had to go to the bank and get, get my dad's cash and I, and I thought, you know, I don't usually shop in Target very much, but my daughter likes to shop in there and get some cute little outfits. And so I thought, let me run in there. I got a little bit of time. And I ran in there. I did put one dress in my basket, and I ended up going and putting it back. I put it back because I didn't think my husband was going to like it. So um, he's funny about prints and stuff and whatever so but I didn't get it I know this is kind of you could even cut these loops and just make it messy oh I forgot I was going to put this flower in there let me see which flower I want I want a rose I really love the roses I think that's too big. You could even do, like, you could even put a piece of, um, even though this is olive, but it looks, this one looks kind of like this sage, or you could do the lamb's ear to look like sage to put a little bit in your bow. Um, so I even thought about that. You could put, look, you could put, a, you could put some of this behind it put some stems behind it, but I'm not liking that right now. So, or you could put one of these in the middle, the sunflower, but I think I'm going to put this little wood thing, whatever this flower is. I'll turn it around just a second. Ouch, I just touched the end of it. I'm seeing some glue strings, so not 100% on the Vaseline. And then I need to cut some of these strings. Uh-oh, I hear thunder, y'all. Did y'all hear that? That's not the phone, that's for real. <laughs> that's for real. Okay. 
so not too bad it's a pretty quick process the 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 hardest part is or the longest part i should say it's not hard at all it's the uh getting the muslin ready to go um so is that adorable and this will go on the wall like so and I may stick a rolling pin in one and my kitchen towels, which are down under the cabinet, I may put some nice kitchen towels in here. Um, my dad and my husband tend to grab my kitchen towels for pot holders um, instead of using the pot holders. So I may put some, get a bunch of pot holders. I have quite a few, but put all the pot holders in one, I don't know until I get them in there. I like the way that turned out. Yes, I like it. Well, thank you. Um, I, I know the napkin, I, it looks kind of big, but from the side, it looks like this. And, hmm, it, I wish the napkin was a little smaller. I probably could have cut this part, I could have probably cut some out and cut that. I probably could have made it smaller. But I don't know if y'all can see. This has the the barn. It's got a barn and all on there. This one's got a tractor. This one has a tractor. And this one looks like, I don't know, a little house with the bridge and all. So... I'm going to have to put it like on the wall and see. I, I think it looks all right. I do. I think it looks okay. Um, I just wish my fringe was here at the bottom. I may have to trim some of my napkin to see my fringe. I should have made... So if y'all do this, make sure you watch how you... Before you put Mod Podge on your muslin, lay your napkin on there. Make sure you've got the muslin positioned right. To where your napkin going down is going to show your fringe all the way around. This one should have went up on the muslin so that my fringe would show up down here. So, but um, but anyway, so not too bad, not too bad. Um, looks like cloth, yes. Yeah, it does. When you put it on the muslin, it kind of becomes like a fabric. And you can do purses and... Um, handbags uh, you can do the napkin on uh, you could probably even do the tissue paper like I used on my uh, enamel wear and stuff you could use tissue paper you can do it on uh, tennis shoes so yeah I've not tried doing shoes yet but you can so um, but anyway I I like it and I think it'll look good in the kitchen um, I love a kitchen that's white and the, the woods and the browns um, with a little bit of color. A little bit of color, not too much. So, um, I like it. So, that is what I have for y'all. And I'm going to hop off and um, go do the spin the wheel. I will come back on and do, I've got three ready on my computer, as long as it didn't mess up, I have to make sure, because sometimes they want to mirror each other, the three wheels I have up, so I want to make sure that they stayed correctly, um, then I'll do those. Not sure, I guess this is, if you use a lot of ribbon, you can push it down, I guess that's what that little piece is for. Um, but anyway, and as far as the half beads, I take a piece of tape and I fold it. I try fold it so it's sticky all the way around. And it sticks on my glass and then my beads stick on top. Okay? And I've got plenty of beads. So I will prepare some more before tomorrow. Before I do crap around the clock. For some reason that side seems to be sticking out versus this side. But. I think it'll be cute. I like it. I like it. I like it a lot. 
but I'll know more when I put it on the wall. And then I probably won't take a picture tonight. Um, I'll wait till I have all three where they're gonna go and then I'll do a picture. So the picture will come later once I get it done. Thank you, cannot wait to see. Um, you have the best ideas, thank you. I just kind of see them, you know, um, I know some people plan their crafts for the week, um, and I've done that. I have done that. <clears throat> in the beginning, I tried to, I had these long baskets and I put everything in there, but um, I'm the one that it's like last minute. Um, like I said, I bought these yesterday, and it came to me then that, and that's why I bought three, is these napkins, I was already seeing those napkins on here. Um, so then I went to my kitchen and I'm like, where am I going to put them? And I couldn't decide. Nothing looked right to me. So I got to rearrange some things for me to make it happen. And I want to make it happen. But it comes to me at the last minute. So, you know, just like that. That came to me the day before when Miss Debbie was here. Uh, she, I brought the colander out and I said, I want to do something with this. And my first thought was, is to dress it up and put a arrangement in it. And then she said, I've seen them made um, in wind chimes. Turn it upside down, lampshades. And then um, I think she's the one that mentioned, said, a tear tray. It'd be cute as a tear tray. So... I'm like, okay, what am I going to put on the bottom? So I went and I got my tin um, tub hanging on the wall that I did, what, last week? I did that last week, I think, with the utensils hanging on the, on the wall. So I went and robbed it. And I said, this will work. So that's how my things come is just kind of just at the last minute. Um, not much thought to it, just it comes to me. So, sometimes you just do something, yeah. But I do have things sitting around here. I've got stuff in bags I haven't even taken out. i got stuff in my trunk that I haven't even taken out yet. Um, I have many things in the head, just not a plan of action, I guess you could say. Um, so, so that's that, y'all. Um, I, that's what I got. I'm going to go ahead and sign off. I will hop back on here in just a moment. I got to get, unplug everything here, take it to my living room. We'll do spin the wheel. So I will see y'all shortly. Have a great night, y'all. And thank you for being here and doing all the goodness and doing all the things. I love you guys.